welcome back everyone today we have a, a special kind of deck that i actually want to i wanted to try um i saw the uh, second place list of the carta magica uh event i believe uh he was playing i think that's the one that got second and he was playing four new gates in his deck and i was thinking okay so if that car made that much of a difference in many matchups i wonder if we can combine both lists which is the um the white beer pirates with the um with the um with the straw huts to make something that can be very good and i'm uh, pleasantly surprised this deck is very good so what we came uh, what i came to the realization okay so you're actually trying to do the same thing that we, you were trying to do with the um with the straw house build which is defend your life early on and then by the time you play the the new gate you are extremely ahead you are you just have like two three life i mean two or one life and then you're still able to just like have a ak leader and then the next turn you're still at two life and then if you play another one you still have ak leader and that's really hard to push through an ak leader is incredibly impossible it's like playing against kid last format like it's remnants to that so why play some white beer cards uh mainly two cards uh because i wanted to make this car consistent and i wanted to make i wanted to play marco marco is a really good car is one of the is the best car in the white beer pirates uh besides the uh, new gate of course uh but this one uh needs a lot of white beer characters but if we can play the same shell and also be able to play this car why do that did i want to play this car because i always want to play Newgate on turn nine, if if possible. So this is another two copies of Newgate, two copies of course allegedly. Uh, but if you already have a Newgate, then you get to search something else, or you get to search your second Newgate. So basically, your turn seven is either gonna be Ace if you have it, of course, or the uh, the White Bear Pirates, so you can search the uh, the nine drop, uh, like on seven energy. Uh, that's the reason I wanted to uh, to play this car. And Marco is a really good car. It's just we are not playing any other blocker. But this blocker does overtime, and you have a lot of cards that you can discard, like excess new gates, excess ace, ace, excess amos, vistas, the the same car or the same Marco. Even Josu is gonna be a, another target that you can discard. So you're not gonna have like like lack of targets for this car. Uh, we're not playing Moby Dick because of course our deck is not like cutter to do Moby Dick things. We want to have a, a, a consistent, efficient deck that does not rely on a car that if we don't see it, our deck doesn't do uh, as hard as it, it's supposed to do. Especially this format. Next format, if we if they don't ban Moby Dick and they, if we have ESO that can search the, uh, the Moby Dick, then yeah, of course, that's really good. But this format, I, I just wanted to have a more consistent uh, deck. And the reason to play Nami, of course, is so you have a better matchup against Zoro, uh, which you already do, by the way, because you, you play Vista, you play Navi, and you play play Robin, all at four. And these are cards that need to get your pistol on site. So we have an excellent matchup against Robin. We're playing 12 2Ks uh, as to just prevent, like, it's just really good. Otama, I'm playing Otama because it just works very well with Newgate or with, um, um, with Robin, Vista. Like, there's a lot of targets that she works well with. So it's good. It's a it's a nice card to have in the deck. Uh, Joshu is gonna have uh, Josh, Josu is gonna have uh, Rush if you're trying to go for a game, but it's a 2k counter for the most part. Uh, I cut down on the Radical Beans. Uh, this is something that the guy that got second uh, was saying in his video. Uh, he said like because I'm playing Newgate, I, I don't need to have that many in my deck. Uh, and he said this is the split that he was feel, feel comfortable with, and I wanted to try it out. Uh, I'm not entirely convinced, but it has been working uh, uh, fine. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take that advice from him, uh, as it makes sense. Uh, and that's the deck that I have for today. It was it's incredibly incredibly powerful actually. I haven't lost a game yet with this one, and it's been uh, I think is 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 there's something here. I think there's something uh, good going on here. Uh, let's go some gameplay. We're playing against Zoro now, and this hand is great. I'm gonna keep it, as he has everything that we want. And also, no, nothing else. He just has everything that we want. 
Uh, do we play the Usopp? Not really. Uh, it should be fine. I'd just rather keep the uh, counter in my hand. I don't care if he goes wide. It really doesn't matter to me. Uh, no blocker, but we're going to counter out of that one. Let's use an Usopp. Okay, well, we'll attack for seven. Let's play that Nami, that Robin, and then let him go. Force him to use a jet pistol on her, or, I mean, don't. Don't really mind. No blockers, but I use a combo here. Okay, jet pistol as expected. But guess what? We have more rushers where that came from. And my turn, take another life. Very difficult matchup for Zoro. He used another jet pistol, however. Ooh, can we get the white beer? I guess I'm looking for the white beer. Okay. I don't have any other play. That's the issue. And we're saving the vistas for the blockers. Yikes. Well, let's see if we can get a Luffy. Okay. Thank you, Luffy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And then uh, seven, seven. Yeah, this attacks for sevens. Put the, the hand under pressure. Let's end the turn. Oh, we can find the white beer next turn. If we can find it. So we're going to combo out of whatever he does here. Okay. Okay. Uh, no blockers. Let's see if we can get the white beer with this one. That is why he is on the deck to find him. <laughs> Let's deploy and attack him. That make it difficult for him to out combo me. And he used two jet, pi three jet pistols, so it's gonna be really hard for him to get rid of the uh, the new gate. And yeah, that this is why this deck is not it's not too hot against uh, White Beard. It is just really difficult to to beat it, and this is the reason I, I play this card. That's the reason I wanted to play this card so I can find my new gate. Now we can remove blockers or even his Vista, and which should be super fine. Then here, I should take it because we bottom deck two white beers, I believe, and we just play the other one. So it's kind of really impossible for us to get another one. Uh, we can, however, can we kill this one? This one would be uh, four. Not really. We cannot. Ooh. Wait, maybe we can. Scales a three. This would be minus minus minus. Will be four. No, we cannot. But that doesn't matter. As we are just gonna he's gonna attack with this for everything on this. That's his best play. So we're gonna do probably about the same. Oh wait. Cancel. Let's do ten here. Let's do 11. And then let's do this much. KO the Vista. 13. Yeah, I'm sure he kind of combo that one. Oh, 
he couldn't. Uh, but even in his turn, he couldn't he couldn't kill me. There's just no shot. I have only two Ks in my hand. So this was gonna be enough to win the game either way. And yeah, that's this is why uh, Whitebeard has a really good matchup into Zoro. Like he didn't play anything early game, but if he would have, I had the Robin and the Vista in, at the ready just to combat his board, and he's still gonna do a lot of pressure. And then um, after all of that, I just get to play Whitebeard and just laugh. And if he didn't have all those jet pistols, I would have a Robin and I would have a, a two Luffy's. So yeah, he didn't develop much, but I mean, he did have a lot of interaction there and had a white beard to just try to close the game that way. It isn't that, that simple always, so it is what it is. Um, we're going to go ahead and go first. As I think our first going first curve is great. And this hand is amazing. It's missing something to keep in between, but in the meantime, we can just attack for big numbers. Oof, what a curve. I don't think my opponent can beat this. <laughs> and his leader is basically a, basically a vanilla, so... I actually do have to combo out of this. I'll use my Marco here. Because we want to... Nah, I mean, we give some usability to the leader, but... It's better this way. Uh, let's attack for six. Wow, we have no counter power. <laughs> That's impressive. Attack for six. He is probably gonna devote his whole turn to try to destroy this one. Or not, who knows. I mean, he has to develop something here. At least we have a 2k here, so he has to at least attack for nine, which is not like easy. Because then he only has a three energy play. Oh, he used Magillion. That's actually pretty bad for me. Oh my god. Well, at least he doesn't get rid of my Luffy, but but that does put me out of schedule for the 9 drop. Uh, no, I will come out of that one. Alright, that's a play that I can do in between. Um, six. Yeah, let's attack for six. He doesn't have. Oh, no, let's just keep attacking for six, because he doesn't have anything for six. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And then we can keep up the uh, radical beams and the um, the gar points. Next turn, I guess I'll do my A, so I'm going to use one of my guard points here. Uh, no blockers, guard point. Yeah, by battle, these cards are not going to be destroyed. And I'm going to ignore the uh, Magillan, because I do want to um, be able to... Ooh, draw down. Well, he doesn't have sixes, so I'm just gonna attack. I mean, he doesn't have two Ks in the hand. I'm just gonna attack the leader. He's probably gonna have to take. Oh, that sucks. Damn. We get it really lucky here. Guess I'll get my Marco. I can just not do this because he can just maybe just get out of this one. All right, that's been that's been difficult. Not gonna lie, I haven't been able to get to ten energy. Uh, 
at least I have my uh, Marco blocker here. How, funny how this works. Mm. Do I care? I think next turn I'm just gonna do white beer, so I mean it's free to do this. So I'm not gonna be able to uh defend my uh life or leader next turn. So I'm gonna be tapped out completely. Well, that's his whole turn. Do I care enough? No, okay, at that point I just use his whole turn trying to deal one damage here. And I'm a okay with that. Uh, no blocker. Actually, I'll block, resolve attack, use action, get the ace back. Because I'm not going to be able to play that ace, so. And then here we'll play white beer and attack for eight. Does play around the uh, judgment. I don't know how to take my last life. So I'm protecting. If he does a 10 drop, he board wipes himself. I don't have to take it if I don't need to. Yeah, exactly. Since I have another one. Then we don't have to worry too much about this. Yes, so you judgment for something else. And we still have a blocker here. He is it in my Marco. I mean, I guess you're taking this one. And I want to put him to zero because uh, I don't want him to do 10 drop next turn. That is for sure. And um, these cards don't matter because I'm too big for him. And I still have one life. So if he attacks me for, for a bunch of energy, I just take the last life. And he still has to get it over 8k. So he cannot go wide. And I have two finishers here that are going to finish the game. Well, I mean, all of these could finish the game. Really hard to push through, even with the leader ability. Really hard to push through this AK leader. And he already used three judgment. Like the, the possibilities of him having a fourth one is kind of low. Uh, no blockers, just combo the Nami. Okay. I'll take that one. Now make my leader even more impossible to kill. I'm at 9k base. <laughs> I 
should be fine for me. Even if he has another judgment, I should be able to find a win next turn. As I have four attackers. He has zero life. Oh, he's trying to go for it. I mean... Mm, no blocker, a 1k? He still has to get rid of the blocker. Yeah, GG. That was really good for me. Even though I got mana screwed twice in this game, I was still able to uh, come back with two white beers. Interesting game. We're going to go second against this deck. And this is usually a not so good of a matchup. We have a rush Luffy that dies to so many things. So let's... Some mulligan. This hand is not that amazing, really. Much better. I have a play on four and I have a play on five. So um, I don't have a play on three, though. On two energy. So we're going to just pass. I have a Marco now. But Marco... I mean, Marco is decent against them. But not early on. I don't want to play him early on. Because... Oh, okay. So he's into us. I'm not going to out-combo that one. We can always just play the white beer even if we have no life left. As long as we um Okay, we have to play around the um the gel palm out of life here. And then we play the four drop and take a life. We could even play Marco, starting to play Marco if we want to. Ooh, that's a good card. That cannot be killed. Hmm. Well, this thing cannot be killed. Let's start attacking him, I guess. Six. Let's limit what he can do. Attack for six. And attack for seven. Force him to take this life. We are well protected because, I mean... Our leader is busted. <laughs> and next turn, we're going to play probably Marco. And Marco is going to be able to survive most of his removal. Okay, this card is good. It's going to be able to KO my Luffy. But he's not going to be able to KO my Atmost. And I will play some of my Minus' effects. Uh, AKA Ura, or Otama, I mean. So I can KO his smoker. Uh, I mean, that's fine. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to get to 10 energy with, I mean, will all the life. I'm not going to be able to get to all the life with uh, white beer. So might as well just take all the life here. Okay, here we'll attack for seven. We'll remove this guy out of play. He's very annoying. As he cannot be killed. Okay. Well, we do have a Marco, so. Let's see if he has another 2 2 case. Oh, hold on. Uh, yeah, no, it should be fine. And then let's play Marco. As he does need to remove him before he can uh, attack my uh, life directly. And I have a lot of counter power here, so I'm not as scared of anything happening here. Next turn, I'm going to be able to play Luffy into Luffy. And that should be uh, good enough. I needed to remove one of them because uh, three seven Ks kind of uh, really hard to deal with. I 
Okay. He does he KO my Atmos? It probably does. Okay, use action. Get rid of back my Atmos here. Uh, we'll get rid of a 2k. Hmm. I don't have many cars for that, but okay. One, two, three, four, I guess. Um, okay, we'll attack for sevens at leader. So use a lot of defense trying to defend. The five drop. Let's see, maybe we can go for a game with Marco. Okay, so he had to defend that. So we can play another turn of defense. And we probably should be fine. As we have the, the rush Luffy to get us across the line. White beer would have been good too, but I mean, we didn't have it. It's a weird deck. My opponent hasn't seen this deck. He's not used to it. <laughs> mm, I wonder if he's doing removal here. But I don't need to... Even if he has removal, I have a blocker, and then do I have enough? Uh, no blocker, but I lose my guard point, I guess. And then I'll do a 1k here. Mm, one, two, three, four, five. Resolve, but I'm not gonna use the car. I'm gonna let him do it. Okay, there's no rush. So I thought he had the um. Uh, I thought he had the um, the Kobe. So was gonna do like a minus and attack for game there. Uh, but we're just attacking for sevens on everything. Oh, that should be enough to win. This don't get destroyed by Palm. So he has to get rid of this. Attack for seven. Seven, seven, seven should be enough. Uh, if I do another seven, he has to do another palm, and then he could have combo another seven. If I do uh, four, uh, yeah, if I do everything, he just doesn't have a way to a combo that. So we didn't need the, the Luffy there. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> Right, and it's uh, it's been a, a really good day. Uh, uh, as you can see, the only matchup that I came close to losing was the one where he didn't go for game because I have three energy up. So if any of those three energy would have been uh, Radical Beam, um, he would have lost. So he didn't go for it. He chose to try to defend the, the, the last turn. Uh, that was just shouldn't happen. 
Uh, but still, even then, like it's it's hard. Like if I would have more defense, it wouldn't be good. So that's why I'm not convinced that guard point at two is exactly the the reason. Also, in that game, I didn't see my white beer, so my deck wasn't functioning as it was intended to function. Uh, but besides that, the deck has been uh, amazing. Like all the draws have been really good. Luffy has been really amazing. Um, and uh, these three cards win games on their own. On their own. And I've been very pleasant with the deck. I think you should try it. And it's something that, that you should look out for. With that being said, thank you all for watching. Have a good day.